Hi everyone. It is, um, what day is it? It's Thursday, August 2nd, the second day of SMA Awareness Month. And I am excited to talk to you guys today about the, the, um, the different types of SMA. So there are four main types of it. Type 1, Type 2, Type 3, and Type 4. Um, for example, I am a very strong Type 3, often more categorized as a Type 4 just by how strong I am. However, I'm a Type 3 because I had it all my life. Maybe not all my life. Pro like Since I started walking, I'd say I really don't know because... I don't know if I've ever really shared my, um, like, my full story with you guys, but I actually, I, um, like, when I first started walking, my parents noticed that I was walking on my toes, um, all the time, and I'd fall often. My mom would take me to the doctor a lot, and she'd be like, hey, like, what's going on to my pediatrician? And just be like, this doesn't seem right. And they would keep telling her that I'd grow out of it. And then the more that she pushed for an answer, they kind of started to tell her that she was crazy. So she kind of just gave up. And then she also, um, she didn't want to make me feel like something was wrong with me. So she kind of just gave up on that. And so... Um, I actually, I didn't even get diagnosed until I was 23 years old, even though I grew up with it all my life. I pretty much felt, um, like I had this condition, but I had to hide it, and, oh, I was really, really good at hiding it. Like, I don't, I don't think very many people really knew or understood. But anyway, so, so that's kind of my story. Um, but yeah, back to the types. So type 1 is the most severe form of SMA. Um, I am using the SMA, the Cure SMA website to reference this because I don't want to say anything that's not true. So I'll just read straight from what the website says. So on CureSMA.org. SMA type 1 is the most severe and the most common and is usually diagnosed during an infant's first six months of life. Babies with SMA type 1 face man many physical challenges including muscle weakness and trouble breathing, coughing, and swallowing. They may need breathing assistance or a feeding tube. Type 1 is often fatal early on in life. 60% of all SMA cases are type 1. Oh, wow, 60%. I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't... I don't know how true that is about the um, not living very young. I know a lot of people have been, like, with SMA1, um, or, like, their parents were told that they weren't going to live past two years old at all. And they're all grown up now, so you know, science, it can be great, but at the same time, you just, you never know. Right. SMA type 2 is usually diagnosed after six months of age, but before two years of age. The first sign is often a delay in meeting mo motor milestones or failing to meet milestones entirely. Individuals affected by SMA type 2 can typically sit up without help, though they meet a may need assistance getting into a seated position, but they are unable to walk and will require a wheelchair. Okay, so SMA type 2, never walk. SMA type 3. Um, type 3 is usually diagnosed after 18 months of age, but before 3 years of age. However, SMA type 3 can be diagnosed as late as the teenage years. Individuals affected by SMA type 3 are initially, initially able to walk, but have increasingly limited mobility as they grow and eventually may need to use a wheelchair. Um, however, I know of other people that were also told nothing was wrong with them at all. I just don't know of anyone um, that was 
diagnosed as late as I was. So basically 20 years I had this and, and no diagnosis. I was just keeping it to myself. And then there's SMA type 4, which is very rare and usually surfaces in adulthood and it leads to mild motor impairment. While symptoms can begin as early as age 18, they usually begin after age 35. I don't really know anyone with type 4. Um, like, like I said, a lot of the times I'm considered type 4 just because of how strong I am. And then there's a few other forms of SMA as well. Those, the type 1, 2, 3, and 4 are the most, um, probably the most heard of types. Um, there's also spinal muscular atrophy, respiratory distress, SMARD, which is a very rare form of type 1 that affects the upper spinal cord more than the lower spinal cord. So babies with SMARD experience severe respiratory distress and weakness in the arms and nearby muscles. SMARD is caused by a specific mutation and can be diagnosed through genetic testing. Distal SMA. I've heard of of people having this. Um, distal SMA is another form, but unlike any other form, it can be inherited from just one parent and it affects um, the, the distal muscles, so weakness in the hands and the feet. The form listed on the Cure SMA website is Kennedy's disease, another rare form of SMA. Kennedy's disease is an X-linked genetic disease, meaning it only affects males. It usually appears between the ages of 30 and 50. It causes muscle weakness and wasting throughout the body, which is most noticeable in the legs and the arms. It is also especially noticeable in the face and the throat and causes speech and swallowing difficulties, major muscle cramps, as well as other symptoms. Oh, you guys, this is really interesting. I'm, I'm learning something new as well. Anyway, that is my, um, all, all about the different types of SMA for SMA Awareness Month. And then also for SMA Awareness Month, I am doing a, um, a t-shirt fundraiser for Cure SMA. I'm doing the walk and roll on, I believe it's the 25th. Of, yes, it's the 25th of August. It's a Saturday, or I'm planning to do it. I'm in school, so I have my finals, um, like, that same weekend. So I'm really, I'm hoping that there will be a way that I can still go because I, I look forward to that event every year because it's, it's really the only time I get to see and, like, really connect with other people with SMA in person. Um, I will, I'll put the link into the description of this video. It's lasting until August 10th. And I am, I'm so excited to be doing this. So I started my, um, my t-shirt business in March and it's kind of, it's grown quite a bit. I'm really trying to develop it more. Completely different story. Sorry, I got off, I get off track and distracted easily but anyway so yeah I will link that in the um in the description it's my first fundraiser um with t-shirts that I'm doing so I'm like I'm really excited guys all right well um comment anything you want to see especially anything you want me to go over regarding SMA with SMA awareness month and basically anything I'm I'm pretty much open to anything. Just let me know. Sorry I'm not doing more exercise videos lately. I've been super dizzy still, so. so I don't know, maybe maybe soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me through my awkwardness. Alright, you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Probably tomorrow. Oh, speaking of which, by the way, tomorrow, if you're in if you're in California Eat at Chipotle because in California, Chipotle is donating 50% of your purchase to Cure SMA. I believe you have to show a flyer. I think you can get that from the Cure SMA website. Or I know I've seen it from on Facebook. I'll try to find it and link it for you guys. But yeah, definitely eat at Chipotle tomorrow if you are if you are in California. Because unfortunately, other states 
aren't doing it. However, I think other states are doing um, different things. I really don't know. Well, anyway, you guys have a great day. Again, sorry for listening to me be, like, so random. And I will see you guys next time.